Hi everyone, this is Dr. Sandeep Sharma here. I'm back here with our topper. Yes, INI Super Speciality, April 23 topper. We have Dr. Savita Harikumar with us. She is AML, CML, rank one. Yes, it can't get better than this. She's rank one in pediatric, gastroenterology and hepatology. So Dr. Savita, the future topmost pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist is with us. So welcome Dr. Savita to this interview. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So congratulations. And uh, before we begin, can you just uh, share about your background, what place you belong to and UGPG and what year are you working? Yes, sir. Uh, so I'm Dr. Savita. I'm from uh, Trivandrum, Kerala. So I did my MBBS and uh, PG, both from uh, Government Medical College, Trivandrum. So uh, then, then I worked as a one year senior resident and now at present since the past six months, I'm working as assistant professor in uh, Sri Mugambiga Institute of Medical Science in Tamil Nadu. So, so uh, uh, my PG was from uh, 2018 to 21. 21. Great, great. Trivandrum is a uh, medical college has produced a lot of toppers over the yes. years. I, a lot of my juniors are also from that place. So, Dr. Savita, was it your first attempt or you have given uh, previously uh, other attempts also? Yes, this was my second attempt in uh, INISS. So, mm -hmm. I had given uh, NEET SS also twice previously. Okay. So, uh, uh, this last time in uh, November uh, 2022, I gave the first INISS. Great. So, uh, I, I, if I'm correct, last INISS, uh, you were not qualified? Yes, I was not qualified. Last INISS, the first exam I gave, but nothing, yes. not qualified. Uh, so there is a reason. Then I, again, I gave it this. There is, there is a reason I'm asking you. So, before I started this interview, viewers, I was talking to Savita and she told me an astonishing fact. She said that last INISS, she was not qualified. She was not qualified. And now in six months, she's rank one. It can't get better than this. So this is a message for all those of you who are doubting themselves or who have prepared and not got done well in the INISS exam. People often ask, sir, can I crack super speciality in one year? This girl here, she's a role model. She has done it in six months. So hats off to you, Dr. Savita. Please share with the viewers what was wrong in your previous attempt and what you did in the last six months. You did not stop any midway station and directly reach the destination. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so this is my second attempt. Last time, first time I gave uh, INISS in November 2022. So uh, like I need to start with NEET, I think, for everyone to understand. So yes. I gave my first NEET in uh, 2021. Uh, just after my PG. So that was not at all prepared. And uh, so again, I gave, once again, I gave, that was like a 281 mm -hmm. rank. Uh, so I wanted only pediatric gastro, so I dropped that. Then again, uh, last year, 2022, September, August, I gave the second NEET. So I was preparing for NEET. The preparation for NEET and NASS is different, completely different. So after giving the second NEET, I got a rank of 161. Still, I was I couldn't get pediatric gastro. So again, I dropped that. So uh, from my last NEET exam, I got around one and a half months gap to prepare for NASS. And that was my first attempt. So uh, there is a huge difference between the NEET preparation as well as any excess preparation. So uh, I had to concentrate entirely on gastro. So then I started reading gastro. I started uh, uh, like uh, watching all the prep ladder gastro, only the gastro videos because of the time constraint, only one and a half months. I started making notes of gastro, the entire note I had from prep ladder. And that was my foundation. And over that, I started reading another gastro textbook and started making small, small notes. But the time was very short. I could complete around uh, 60 to 70 percentage of the entire topic, uh, like entire subject uh, during that one and a half months. But that was only the first reading. So at that time, when I went for the exam, I understood that I have covered many topics. But the problem is I didn't have revision. I had never revised the same topic 
another time. So that was one major drawback which I felt. And second thing is, since I was giving it for the first time, I didn't know what to expect. I'm just going there and giving. So what question they are going to ask, how they are, what is the pattern also, I didn't know. So because it is different from meat, meat patterns completely different. So that was my major drawback in the first time. So first time I didn't qualify. And then this is my second time. So this time what I changed was, I revised um, maybe I think twice or something during the last uh, three to uh, maybe uh, last one week I revised twice. So all the topics were very fresh in my mind and that is very much required for giving the exam. And another thing is I could complete most of the topics uh, and also I knew the mindset of the exam, how they are going to ask the question and how they are going to twist the question. So that was the thing I, I think uh, second time I succeeded maybe. Very aptly and described in details to the point at the same time also elaborating. So all those who are targeting and uh, you know trying to you know do brainstorming how should your preparation be and if you are particularly if you're not doing the uh, well right now uh, dr savita has virtually given you a blueprint how she was able to hack into the examiner's mind and trust me you can't get a rank one in any exam or for that matter a top five rank in any exam without hacking into the mind see the exams always have a pattern things are never randomly asked you need to understand that it all all that you need to do is hack into the mind of the examiner, look at the papers, try to look at the past papers, listen to the interviews and base your preparation accordingly. And Dr. Savita very aptly described. So uh, moving on to the next question, if somebody is targeting gastro, pediatric gastro and hepato, what are the resources you feel uh, one should be using? And what are the resources that you found useful? Uh, yes, sir. So first, uh... Uh, who uh, person who is trying to trying for pediatric gastro? They need to know that there are only very limited seats all over India. Only around totally five seats. So there are two exams. One is NEET and one is INISS. And the preparation for both is entirely different. So through NEET you have got three seats: two in SGPJ Lucknow and one in Madras Medical College. So Madras Medical College was started last year only, last NEET. So three in uh, NEET exam. Now two other seats uh, for a general candidate, two other seats. One would be in uh, PGI Chandigarh, one would be in AIMS Rishikesh, that is all. And uh, both institute exams, they don't open at the same time. This time only AIMS Rishikesh seat has opened. So maybe next time PGI seat would open. So uh, now we know the pattern of uh, the seat, seats where we have uh, pediatric gastro for DM. Now we'll see how to target uh, institute exams, INISs. So uh, the preparation for NEET and INI is completely different. For NEET, you need to have a knowledge about everything. For INISs, uh, their pattern is like, they ask more about pediatric gastro. If you're targeting pediatric gastro, then mostly more than 50%, maybe some 60% questions would be from pediatric gastro. And the rest 40% would be from uh, general pediatrics. So what I understood is that, uh, whoever is targeting pediatric gastro would be uh, completely uh, like they would know everything about pediatric gastro. But uh, the one who gets a rank would be the one who is very strong in general pediatrics because that is the point which the other people tend to forget. Because we will forget immunization, we'll forget development, especially development. How many times we read, we would definitely forget. So, last one day or two days, you need to read development, growth, then growth charts maybe, then all those important stuff. So uh, what I feel is uh, equal weightage should be there for uh, this pediatric gastro as well as general pediatrics. So uh, last time, there is there is a small difference. When I gave uh, this for the first time, institute exam for the first time, they asked around 80% from pediatric gastro only. Only hardly 10 to 15 questions from uh, general pediatrics. So I was thinking that would be the pattern this time. So I was completely like shocked because around 40% they asked from general pediatrics. But uh, thank God I could do something from general pediatrics. Maybe that is why I could crack. So now uh, coming to pediatric gastro, what I did was first I followed the entire prep ladder videos uh, of pediatric gastro. I made a set of notes. 
the entire hepatology, everything, everything in this, and mostly nutrition part also, because I had time constraint. I didn't get time to watch all the videos. So I watched the entire uh, pediatric gastro videos and the relevant ones from nutrition, then food allergy, and all those relevant things that are associated with pediatric gastro. And I made a set of notes. That was my foundation. And if you have some other foundation, some other notes or your PG notes with you, that is also fine because you need to cover entire thing and you, you need to have an uh, idea of all the things, a small idea of all the topics. Now, I st then I started reading pediatric gastro textbook uh, that was by Dr. Anil Dhawan. One textbook is there. So the recent edition was in 2021. So the good thing about that is that is very easy to understand for a normal pediatrician because the reading huge books would be very difficult. This is a, a medium sized book. It covers everything very well. You can read it uh, comfortably. You'll understand if everything is given very nicely. And uh, then all the updated things till 2021 is available in that book. So most of the guidelines were also there. So I didn't have to uh, waste much time in, uh, in other sources. So that was my basic book, uh, uh, Pediatric Gastro book by Dr. Anand Dhawan. So I completed the entire book. That reading first I had done in the previous NESS, almost 70%. Now this time I read it once again, the entire thing I could complete. Now uh, then I went to uh, Nespagan and Nispagan guidelines. Uh, they have a tendency, institute exams have got a tendency to ask a new, the latest guidelines, whatever is being published last month, they'll ask. So we have to be updated. So uh, I read around um, all the guidelines of NASPAGAN and ISPAGAN. It is available in online. So I read all the guidelines uh, for uh, the past 10, uh, 10 years guidelines I read. So that I read twice or thrice, and that was very important because it covered the entire thing. If you read one article on acute liver failure, you get the entire thing on acute liver failure. So that would do, like you don't have to read anything else. So. These three were my uh, basic prep ladder videos, then uh, Dr. Anil Dhawan's book and uh, guidelines. Then I tried to read Wiley. Wiley is a very good book. You have to read, I think, but I could not. And many questions were asked. Whatever is not there anywhere, only in Wiley that was asked. I came back and searched, but uh, I, unfortunately, I could not answer those questions. You need to read Wiley also. It's okay. You did better than most. That is the, that is more important. Yeah. yeah. Nobody was better than you. That is why you got rank one. Uh, Wiley is a again Wiley is a dif difficult book to read. Not you need time for that. You need to devote some time. So unless somebody is specifically targeting INISs, I think uh, they can skip or they can do it selectively if time permits. And uh, it was it was uh, a very clear and detailed strategy approach given by Dr. Savita. So all of you can store this video who are targeting pediatric gastro better and you can, you know, literally make notes out of it, how, how Dr. Savita tackled certain parts and she has given wonderful suggestions. So it's been a, a wonderful journey, Dr. Savita, from all the way from Trivandrum to the hilly state, yeah. you'll be going to Rishikesh, yes. right? Uh, from one beautiful city to another beautiful city. Uh, any, any special, uh, shout outs you want to give you want to dedicate this success to someone your parents your family because yes it's always a team effort so any special yes sir uh, definitely because this success is not only mine it is uh, because of the many people who contributed it is like that for everyone uh, because no one person can do uh, uh, entire thing so all the inputs should come from everyone and each and every encounter or each and every talk or discussion with your senior, junior teacher, whoever, or even the patient, that is the most important. They teach us a lot. So all those points will be useful for your exam as well as your future. What I felt because while I was giving the exam, I was remembering my teachers I, because each every question, I would remember one of my teachers, then I would remember my patients, I would remember each and every one. So every, everyone contributed to this. So first and foremost, my family, definitely my family who were always with me. So uh, like they would always support me in whatever decisions I take. So that is the like strongest pillar I had in my uh, life. And 
secondly all my teachers all my professors at my college they were uh, all their gold standard teachings all their wisdom everything that uh, they had given me during the three years of pg life i feel the pg life is the most important area or time of your life where you need to spend and uh, that is the time where you get a lot of knowledge so all my teachers i'm really thankful and uh, i'm thankful to dr prashant ks he is our pediatric gastroenterologist at uh, trivandrum medical college kct it has just uh, he was there for past many years and he has now started a department uh, in sat so uh, sir had uh, sir was the one who had uh, uh, like created interest in me in this subject so he used to give me all articles to read and uh, he used to make me present many uh, case reports and all those things so sir was one uh, important person who also helped me to achieve this and uh, definitely i would like to i'm really grateful to dr b vijay kumar he is my professor uh, at my uh, college so sir was uh, the strongest person who always motivated me he helped me a lot in my studies uh, so Uh, i'm really grateful to sir for that and um, uh, then my seniors uh, dr akhil raj uh, he helped me so much in my preparation so i can never forget that and um, and uh, last but not least uh, lord almighty without whose grace we are we will not get anything so that is always needed so that is all excellent excellent dr savita uh so your journey has been really commendable you have worked hard for it and you have made it now so we wish you all the success and may you be one of the top most pediatric gastroenterologist and hepatologist and we wish you all the success on behalf of triplader team i wish you all the best and uh, thank you so much for sparing time for us thank you sir thank you so much